eight competitions here this year, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we're going to get them underway straight away. This is the serious end of the open competition from uh, earlier on this afternoon. From here, they go down to 12. So they've got just 60 seconds, maybe 90 if they're lucky, to have a quick look at those sheep and call the referee if they really think it's necessary. But the selection committee here at Golden Shears once again have done a fabulous job out there on the farms of the Wairapa Koro. They have, Phil. They have. Hey, doesn't this stage look stunning? Yeah, a brand new stage, especially for Golden Shears 2012 and, of course, those world championships, which started, Coro, way back in 1977 at the Bath and West Show in England. And, and one of our Kiwis was the And this is the champion. 15th Golden Shears World 15, Championship. Absolutely. Somebody said to me, how come Masterton is not up there? Well, you don't need to say that. Golden Shears is the It's home. the icon. It's the icon. You're it's privileged, icon. ladies and gentlemen, to be here, and we're privileged to have you all here. Hell, we're a good-looking pair, eh? Here we are. We're just yeah. having a bit of a shot for the TV over there. Yeah. So all you folks over in the marquee, good evening. No my how do I? And uh, we're in for a good night. Thank you. Okay, the referee's just about ready. Which side are you going on this year? I'll stick with you. I want to stick with you because you're, oh, God. you're a good-looking fella. Come over here. Now cut that out. Not so early. Wait till <laughs> it's later on. God Let's go. Sake. Get him a light. He's had a busy season. So righto. The referee... Where is he? He's busy. Our board referee, Mr. Graham McNay from Masterton, a very important position, making sure everybody's happy. Eight competition sheep they have to shear, ladies and gentlemen. Are you happy, Graham? We have a green light all set, Lance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, eight competition sheep they have to shear. Timekeepers ready. Judges ready. Competitors, get set, go. Back onto the board, the very first of their eight competition sheep they have. You can bet your life it's going to be Helter Skelter Coro as well as uh, Coro myself. We have the, the services of Mr. John McBride from the Taranaki, who's had, a, oh my goodness, years of experience, John. And I think this year it's going to top the lot. What do you reckon? Well, you're definitely uh, certainly going to rock things here. The socks are going to rock off. We've got some new blood into this competition, and that's what... Make shearing survive. Get some new blood up in here. We've got a few old heads as well. Maddie Smith and Doug Smith on the front stands from the Ruawai. Johnny Kirkpatrick from Napier. Bad Hadfield from Wairaw. By golly, he missed out last year by one. He's up here by one this year. Down there on the far end, Mark Granger, Tika Woody. Good quality shearer, the young fella, just not long into the racks. James Mack. He's a big strong shearer down on stand number six. And who's going to get the first drop? It's Matt Smith from Ruawai Koro. One minute neat, ladies and gentlemen. The little clock up the top there. We'll just have a little bit of time during the next break. But always the total points. The lowest person is the one that's going through to the next round. But we'll explain that a little bit better. But at the moment, we're right in amongst it. And this Matthew Smith record holder on stand number one. He goes around the top of the sheep and around the year. One minute and 23 seconds is ticked by. Johnny Kirkpatrick's under pressure here at the moment because this Bart Hatfield right up his bum fell. Yeah, they're certainly having a good crack at what down there on stand number. Oh, what is it? Five. Mark Granger from Tikawiti, one of the young guns, and he's not being left out of it. But the pace is starting to come again from stand number six, is it? Or is it? No, it's the real wide boy, Matthew Smith, on stand number one. Then Douglas Smith, stand two, having a good shear. A little bit of a wriggler there on stand four for Bart Hadfield. In goes Matthew Smith. Come on, you North Auckland people. There's only a half a dozen sheep left. If that, only five, in fact. In goes James Mack from Napier on six. Stand three, John Kirkpatrick's in. He won't want to be left out of it, Johnny McBride. This is one of the favourites, if you like. But he's going to have to earn it, I believe. Well, you lift, you, every day a dog has a run it's a new day and here johnny kirkpatrick he's got no uh, he can't call on last year's experience today's another day and he rack, rocks around the back of the head and down towards the first shoulder i was just wondering who laid the hundred i mean the thousand dollars on bart hadfield maybe it was the king boys from wire or his wife i'm not sure but he's got to do it justice tonight you're going to leave it all on the board guys going hard going quick and stepping up the neck there's mark granger down on stand number five James Max got away from him a little bit. Turns for home down on the money side of the sheep. But, oh, in goes now at 2 minutes 55. Matt Smith from Ruawai. 
John Kirkpatrick is three, four blows away from him. Hadfield next in line is it uh, maybe James Mack down the far end. Rattling down the last side, the lonely job on stand number six. There's plenty of crowd close to you. Come on, get in behind this young fella down the far end. Coro, they're starting it hot to trot. Here's another Smith. Doug comes over the shoulder on the last side. Well, they're certainly right into it now. Stand number one, Matthew Smith from Real Hawaii leading them out, Coro. This young Mark Ranger on stand five brings his next sheep back onto the board. They nearly all got four sheep on the board as stand three. Douglas Smith from Real Hawaii, quality shearer, never makes a mistake. Just back off the pace a wee bit, Coro on stand two. But here he goes, and he's going to be hard to beat on quality, don't you think? Oh, he could be a little bit out of the game at the moment. He needs to lift his game a little bit higher. That guy on stand number two, I think at this level, the quality is probably all super. But down the last side, Matt Smith on stand number one. The boy from Weber, James Mack coming down the last side. But Johnny Kirkpatrick, the current Golden Shears champion, a world team member for Aotearoa, ladies and gentlemen. He's showing a clean pair of heels. We talk about this guy as getting a little bit of beam me up Scotty a little bit of warp drive well he's going to find that in a moment because he works his way eight competition sheep the man that's been paying a thousand dollars bet Bart Hatfield push the hammer down Bart Mark Granger the young guy but turning on to the long blow is this boy Johnny Kirkpatrick there John McBride oh he's certainly Captain Kirk's reap for walk factor as he comes across the shoulder working it look at that left hand moving the sheep Every blow he puts in, he shifts that sheep, so it's not sitting on a bone any time in his life. Down the last side he goes. It's all on muscle now. These are nicely rounded sheep. Credit to Glenn Dow, Donald as he steps in. Oh, a bit of a hiccup there. Got hawked up in his elbow. Matthew Smith sends the chance. In goes Doug Smith. He's a sheep behind the pace. Here comes Bart up the neck and down the side of the cheek. Very difficult part of the sheep to shear right about now as it starts to slide away from him. James Mack out the last leg. Down on stand number six. Up the long blow comes Tinker with his Granger. Turning onto the money side of the sheep. In around the back of the head though. It's Johnny Kirkpatrick. Sheep number six on the board. Two left in the pen. Up over the top comes Doug Smith. Phil, things are starting to get warm. They're really relaxed into the job now. They've got to make the most of it. Well, they're starting to flow all right, but there's only two sheep left for most of these years now. As stand number four, Bart Hadfield from Wairau gets ready to go in for his sixth one. In goes Mark Granger on stand five. We look at uh, James Mack on six from Weaver. Up the neck and round behind the ears. We come back to the leader on stand three, and indeed it's Kirkpatrick from Napier. Come on, you Napier people. Give him a bit of a cheer. He changes the hands, and he goes back the handpiece, and he's back in for number seven. Matthew Smith from Rawai down the last side on stand one right out onto the back hockey goes Douglas Smith on stand number two just a sheep behind now and in goes Matthew Smith on stand number one but it's still Johnny Kirkpatrick James Mack on six is not too far away either Mark Granger on five the boy from the king country Coro this boy's having a good shear but he's still got to come up a little wee bit Oh, one of the younger boys into the open class, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Granger, but he's putting it well. One sheep just about totaled around John Kirkpatrick as he turns to the last side. That's the class of this man on stand. Number three, ladies and gentlemen, and if you look at the quality side of the job, he's right there with the quality. Very good job outside. The judges, are, ladies and gentlemen, are looking at the quality control up there on the stage. They've got a little clicker in their hands and they're looking at the second cuts double cuts well that's a a real no-no in this game we've got the elders primary wool people here tonight and they're professionals when it comes to wool they've got to get the job right and those judges are making sure every time the shearer makes a stroke with his handpiece he cuts it off one neat stroke if he goes back and cuts the fiber of wool again that's a second cut that creates it and i believe that cost a new zealand wool grower somewhere in the vicinity of about $20 million a year in lost productivity. So the people that benefit with this job, we've got to get the job done nice and neat. Competitions are designed around that. Get that sh- sh- fibre fleece cut off in once, once and neatly, and the benefit goes back to the wool grower. But down the last side, ladies and gentlemen, Gianni Kirkpatrick now. His time is up there at the moment, 7 minutes and 44 seconds. Give this guy a good hand, ladies and gentlemen, because he's on form to look good for the world title. Gianni Kirkpatrick. So here, stand number three, the reigning champion's got his sheep finished. 
He'll set the pace, but on stand one, it's the young lad from Ruoi might be next. Young Matthew Smith, he's right out onto the back hawk. He's going to go just over eight minutes, John McBride, as he gets ready to push the button. Give him a big hand, the boy from the far north. Awesome stuff. Is the, the, the competition is still hot. Hey, it's only, it's only over because that cheer is finished. There's still places to go. We're going to cut down to a 12, and they're certainly out the last leg comes Doug Smith now. Right on the button is Bart Hadfield as well. As they're going to click off together by the look of it, maybe uh, the Smithy's going to get it by half a stroke. Steps into the pen for sheep number eight. In goes Bart for number eight. There's still pressure on here. Understandable. These guys are feeling a bit devastated at the moment. They've had a sheep put round them, or over a sheep put round them in this white hot atmosphere here at the Golden Shears. Here comes Granger. He's going to be the next to get the number eight tick, is he? Or is it down there on stand number eight, uh, stand number six on the eighth sheep? It could be James Mack. I don't know. It's a bit of a battle. There goes uh, James Mack, complete the task. Also, the Tigawiti man, uh, Mark Granger. There's still a bit of a battle going on here. Doug Smith from Rua White. Round the back of the head he goes. Two oh, big long blows for Bart. Coming up. Drops into it now. Here we uh, looking to uh, keep the score down. The Devils, he's trouble at the moment. He's got the time clock against him. Rolling up the long blow he comes. Out the last side comes the Doug Smith from Rua White. Two blows to go and he's going to let that sheep down the chute. Bart Hadfield's got about 9 or 10 to go across the shoulder on the last side. For the money side of the sheep. Beautiful style, the big long fella from Wairau. Out the last leg. Ladies and gentlemen, you're witnessing something special here this year at the World Champs. That's the first heat of the top 30 out of the road. Give them a big hand, ladies and gentlemen, as they prepare to leave the stage. And we just have a few seconds, a moment or two, then the next heat will come up on the stage. Our judges will vacate the stage, of course. Boy, oh boy, Coro, that's... Uh, Johnny Kirkpatrick is on fire, the reigning champion there on stand number three. He certainly showed them what he wants, didn't he? I, I think it's appropriate that we just explain the clock a little bit. Absolutely. Uh, um, I'm not a techno nerd, but... Uh, I think it's important that you understand how the points work, ladies and gentlemen. We got an overall time of nine minutes, and uh, three times nine, Phil.